Hello and welcome to week 95. Can you guess what happened based on the thumbnail? I'm finally in the 100s. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a really, really good week. Um, so all of that time of being super good despite not seeing any movement on the scale for the last couple weeks um, paid off. <laughs> Um, and the great thing is, is I'm never going to go back. We all say that, right? But yeah, <laughs> there's a video from everyday fitness, every damn day fitness, something like that. Um, and he talked about motivation versus dedication and how you can't just, it's not enough to be motivated. You have to be dedicated because sometimes you lose your motivation. I mean, it's a little bit of a semantic game, but I see where he's coming from. Um, because even when you're not motivated, like seeing the scale move, you need to be dedicated and do it anyway. And that is basically what I have been doing is doing it anyway. <laughs> um, so for week 95, my, um, weight loss for the week was 4.2 pounds. So it really got me moving. <laughs> so that makes my total weight loss since surgery 98.6 pounds and my total weight loss from my highest weight to 121.6 pounds. So I mentioned, maybe not last week, but at some point that I was sort of holding out on saying my actual weight um, until Hold on, let me check. Okay. <laughs> I was holding on, like putting my actual weight in the description box or just saying it um, until I got to the 100s and it was just like a mental thing. And I had promised y'all that I would start doing it. Um, so I'm going to start doing it um, this week. So you'll see that below and throughout. Um, so my total, or so my, my weight, my highest ever weight was 320 pounds. My surgery weight was 297 pounds. Um, and that weight loss wasn't because of, or like from 320 to 297 wasn't because like it was because of surgery. Um, it was actually prior to my lap band. Um, so that is like the largest number that I've ever seen on the scale. And before getting uh, gastric bypass, I think I saw 301 or 302 and so like seeing the three again um is was like you know a number i didn't want to see again so that's why i'm sort of like you know saying i'm never going to see the twos again i mean i know it can happen because it's already happened to me um although i haven't been in the ones since um like high school so um yeah <laughs> um but yeah so let me start over. So highest weight was 320. RNY surgery weight was 297. And current weight is 198.4. Yeah, 198.4 is what I weigh, weighed this morning. <laughs> so I'll put all that in the description box. Speaking of description box, um, I mentioned to y'all that I was working with Magic Links um, and to do like a Nordstrom, you know, article, um, or YouTube or, you know, whatever all, they want it everywhere. I'm sure if you've even signed on to YouTube in like the last month, you've been bombarded with Nordstrom haul videos. <laughs> so I did mine a little differently because I knew a lot of people were going to, uh, you know, just being like what they got, um, or what they bought and then. <laughs> probably returned. I mean, how many freaking barefoot dreams blankets do you need? Um, so yeah, my list does not have barefoot dreams. Um, I actually think, I think they're overpriced. And I, th I mentioned before that supposedly they make, you know, a sale line. Um, so that explains like why it's a lower price um, and maybe lower quality. I don't know. Like I said, I even on sale, I think it's overpriced. It can't be like that great. Um, so what I did, um, if you, um, 
get the bright email, which is a daily email that I do. It's called getbrightemail.com. Um, I do a Monday feature on Melania Trump, just basically like style wise. Um, and so I wrote my article on how Melania Trump would shop the sale if she shopped at, at Nordstrom. Although, you know, her stylist has put her in things from Zara and, you know, from other like mid price and low price retailers. So you never know, she might. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff that is out of stock, um, including on my list, but supposedly they're like restocking sizes I assume like once all the YouTube influencers like return their stuff, maybe they'll have more. <laughs> um, but yeah, there, there are sizes like coming back and colors coming back and things like that. But I'm going to put all the items in the description box along with the link to my article so you can read the whole thing and also see photos of her outfits that inspired my picks. So I really have not seen that much on my list and other YouTube videos. And I think that's because, you know, I am doing it based on Melania's style and not, um, you know, like what we're doing right now, which is basically like loungewear all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, like there's some really cool booties. Um, there's actually, I really hope it comes back in stock because there's one pair of boots that's like identical to the ones that she's wearing. Um, there is all, a lot of the beauty stuff is still in stock. Um, yeah, so it's basically like her edgy casual looks, um, her work looks, um, what else? I'm like looking at the article now and just, oh, her coats. Oh my gosh. I would love to have her coat collection, even though I hate the winter time <laughs> and I hate going outside in the winter, but she has some like amazing coats, but yeah, I'll put everything down below, you know, just so you can see it. I just thought it was a fun way to talk about the Nordstrom sale, but do it from like a different perspective, um, especially because I'm not in the market to buy a bunch of stuff. And I didn't want to be one of those people that buy a bunch of stuff and then return it. Um, because I don't want people to think I bought all these things and I need these things and therefore you need these things too. <laughs> so hopefully, even if you choose not to buy something, you can peruse it, maybe get some inspiration from the first lady. Um, but yeah, I really like, like her casual stuff is always like my favorite, mostly because I don't, you know, wear, um, business stuff or like ball gowns. Um, but yeah, she always has a way of like doing something classic, like, I hate to say like classic, like leather pants <laughs> and jeans, but with something like unexpected, like, like really edgy boots. Um, and of course, like her sunglasses are always awesome. Um, so I hope you enjoy that. I know it's something a little different and I'm not going to turn into someone who's doing like hauls and all of that kind of stuff. Um, particularly now because I don't want to buy any clothes. <laughs> um, but I just thought I'd share it here because I wrote it anyway for my newsletter. Um, and I had mentioned it before, so put that below as always like everyone else um i do get like a very very small commission if you choose to buy anything on the list um or through the link i guess this is not a sponsored video nordstrom has no idea who i am and probably never would um but uh that is about all for me so again for week 95 i am down 4.2 pounds <sighs> I basically just like saved it all from like the whole month until like one week. <laughs> I lost it all at once. So I knew that was going to happen just because, <laughs> because nothing was happening on the scale and I was doing everything right. <sighs> okay. So I'm so happy I made it to the 100s and I'm, I'm not going to do a dance like mini me in Tennessee because you don't want to see that. And also, like it would have to be to a song and if I can't include the song, it seems like really silly. Um, because I wouldn't, like, I don't want to dance to, um, I don't know, what's that, like, Muzak. 
<laughs> to background music. I would want to dance to like Tempo by Lizzo. <laughs> All right, that's it. Bye.